Welcome to Vlogmas Day 8 already. We've been at this a week. And I always forget to introduce myself. I assume everybody that comes here knows who I am. I'm Victoria of Victoria Knits. I live in Northwest Montana in the town of Marion near the town of Kalispell. And it is much warmer out this morning. Good grief, it's gonna be a heat wave today. <laughs> Maybe it means the inversion is lifting. I hope so, that would be nice. So this morning, let's see, yesterday, you saw that I made those biscotti. Well, holy cow, I don't know how, uh, I haven't mentioned this in a while, but I have tendonitis in my left arm, which is strange because I'm a, when I knit, I throw. You'd think I'd have it in my right hand. Hi, whatever. It's in my left hand, so the hand that I grip my yarn with when I'm holding my project, you know, and I throw. That's the hand I have it in. It goes all the way up my arm to my shoulder. Um, yesterday I made biscotti, you may have seen that. And while I was making the biscotti, it didn't seem to, it seemed okay. No worse than normal, but man, afterwards I thought I was gonna die. I got up this morning and it hurt so bad. So, Luckily for me, I had hung on to a package from my dear friend, Katie. Hi, Katie. <laughs> she and I have never met, but I really consider her a friend. And I I had saved the package she sent. Frankly, and I'll, I'll be honest with you here, I had saved it because last year, Katie sent me this beautiful yarn and I made these beautiful socks out of it. This is uh, my Christmas socks of the day from my box of Christmas socks. This is the blaze pattern. The yarn is Yakagani yarn that uh, Katie sent me last year very kindly as a present. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, they're really, they're really pretty. I opened my Christmas box of socks this morning and that was the first thing my eye lit on and that's just how I'm picking them out. The pink, the cheerfulness of them. I thought that's those are the socks for me for today. I need I need to be cheered up. My arm hurts so bad. Knitting is not happening anytime soon. I'll whine for a minute here. You'll let me do that. <laughs> it's my vlogmas. I can whine if I want to, right? I really wanted to finish Russell's mermaid tail as a surprise for him before Christmas, but I don't see that happening. I'm not gonna give up. So, as I was starting to say, Katie sent me a beautiful package yesterday. I hadn't opened it. I had saved it because I was, I really thought oh, I'm going to open this up. It's going to be, a, a, she's going to have sent me another beautiful skein of yarn that I'm going to really want to knit with and I can't do it yet, but that is not what happened. I will show you what she sent and it was perfect. So I'm sitting here with my coffee and I opened the package that Katie sent and it's in that beautiful pink paper. And then I see all of this. <laughs> so she sent this lovely card to me. And then this little recipe booklet she bought and she put both of the patterns in it for the granny's favorite dishcloth and for the teeny tiny sock. <laughs> Aren't those dishcloths lovely? <laughs> the colors are just great. They're really, really pretty. And then this pink craft bag she got from a local yarn store. Another dishcloth. And inside the craft bag is this beautiful, bright, bright pink mini <laughs> from Hedgehog Fibers. And um, have you picked up the theme yet? Yes, it's pink. 
Katie knows me. I love pink. Oh, that's so pretty. She made a little stocking, which I immediately put on our Christmas tree. Isn't that cute? Look how tiny that is. <laughs> And a wooden stitch marker she got from another local yarn store. And two tea bags, Wild Sweet Orange. Is that the smallest sock you've ever seen? Well, she said, um, I followed the pattern loosely, but the gusset directions, I used what I uh, use on my socks. Their directions seemed a little confusing. And that's the pretty card she sent. Really nice note inside. <laughs> so nice. So thank you so much, Katie. I can't, I can't thank you enough for that sweet, sweet gift. It was so nice to open this morning. And I had two biscotti while I did it with my coffee. Um, Cause it's, that biscotti is so delicious dipped in coffee. I just love it. Another thing I'm doing this morning is I'm drinking my morning water out of this cute little reindeer glass. Aren't those pretty? I bought two sets of these. They come in uh, sets of four. They all have different sweaters on. Little knit sweaters on the reindeer. <laughs> I don't think you can get much cuter, can you? Aren't those adorable? Yeah, they're really cute. So uh, I bought these at the last place I worked before I retired, which was the Boise Co-op. Here's to the co-op. <laughs> so I'm trying to look on the bright side today. One of the things I was telling Kim this morning something I've been needing to do for since uh, last year and I haven't got to it yet. It's not a huge priority, obviously, but if I was knitting right now, I know I would be frantically knitting on Christmas presents that I wanted to give to a lot of people and I can't do that. So I am, um, I have found another project that I thought I'd share with you guys. And it's something that I can leisurely get done today. <laughs> and it needed to be doing so uh, it needed to be done so I will show you what's happening now all right I got these let's see I guess we saved these um, beer boxes from uh, just beer Kim buys at Costco but I thought they would be perfect what I do is and you'll notice that this one says Russell's Christmas ornaments well, when the um, twin Arnits, Jessie and um, her sister, I should remember her name, were um, talking about Christmas traditions the other day on their Vlogmas, yesterday on their Vlogmas, they were asking what people's Christmas traditions are. And I thought, I felt, I felt kind of depressed because it's like, uh, my family really, really doesn't have any. I don't remember any. Christmas traditions from childhood. Okay, here's one. Here's one. One from my childhood, I do remember. My childhood was not great. But on Christmas morning, when I was little, uh, as I told you, I have three older sisters and I, I have a younger brother. And none of us, I don't talk to any of them anymore. So that part's sad, but we'll ignore that for now. Um, on Christmas morning, my parents would need to get up and do some things for Christmas. I don't know who's watching this, so that's how I'll say it. They needed to get up and do some things for Christmas morning. And so they would tell us we had to stay in bed and we had to sing Christmas carols until they told us it was time to get, until we could come out of our rooms. Which of course was really hard for little kids to do, but we, you know, we did it. That one, I can remember that one tradition. I don't remember anything that we constantly always had to have at Christmas time, except maybe these chocolate cookies um, that my mom used to make. And um, I still have that recipe and I do make those occasionally. I try not to make them too often because I'll, I'll eat them all, they're so good. 
Uh, those are chocolate spritz. Vanette, my daughter Vanessa will know what I'm talking about. Casey probably will too if he watches this. But that was about it. So I was feeling kind of sad about, gosh, I can't think of any good Christmas traditions or things we carry on, you know, now. So what I have done is I am trying to help my grandchildren. Not that they'll need my help, but I know when I moved out of my parents' house, I did not have uh, ornaments. So what I'm doing is I am collecting, I try to collect an ornament every year for each of my grandchildren and I keep them in this box so that they'll have their own set of ornaments when they move out of the house. I hope they appreciate it. Let's take a look at what I've got for Russell. I, uh, I have some things I need to uh, add to his box this year, so we'll do that. Okay, here's here's some things that I picked up that uh well no first <laughs> my friend Sandra from Washington State hi Sandra made these crocheted these cute little sweaters for Nico and Russell for Christmas last year to put on their tree so these are gonna go in their box right now one for Russell I'll get the red one. Red's his favorite color. And these are things I picked up last year. Some for the kids. Oh, and some for maybe Kim and I to put on our tree. Because what the heck, right? Oh, look at that. You go shop at uh, Joann's or any place close to Christmas or after Christmas, you can really get some good deals on some beautiful ornaments. That is lovely, isn't it? Oh, yeah. these are all the ones I collected from uh, just last Christmas that I got together from last Christmas so um, I must have got the tree for us because I got two of those um, I know my daughter-in-law likes cows so maybe I got that one for her I'll put it in uh, Hayden's box her daughter's box and I must have bought this namaste inside for my daughter Vanessa because she's She's the younger one. So I'll sort these out and decide who's going to get what, and I'll put them in their appropriate boxes. Okay, I got their things sorted and put away into their boxes. Now, these are the things I have purchased for them this year. Oops, I didn't get it. Nothing too terribly breakable this year. <laughs> so, what's nice about using the empty beer bottle cases is that they have these nice little 
sectioned areas so you can keep things separated. But I do, I do wrap them before I put them in there, just to protect them. This one's Nico's box. He doesn't have as much. I try to buy an ornament at least a year for the kids, for the grandkids. Um, that's a little sweater I made for Nico <laughs> a couple of years ago. <laughs> and then he's got uh, Sandra's crocheted sweater in there too. And a couple other things. <laughs> so I just wanted to share with you guys that little thing that I like to do for my grandchildren. And um, to help cheer myself up, I am wearing one of my cowls today. My cowls, that word almost didn't come out. And I will put at the bottom which one this is. I made this while we were still living in Boise. I like this cowl a lot. I like the colors and it goes with what um, my little sweater I have on today. Oh, so this has been satisfying. If I can't knit, I can wear my knits, right? <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Ready? Yep. Hi. Hi. We have decided to join Larky down here. Uh, we're kind of, we are sitting on his bed. He may, this may or may not work out well. <laughs> we'll find out. I hope everybody's had a good day. Um, we've had a good day. Kim and I went for a, a walk today, about a three and a half miler without uh, Mr. Larky because he hurt his, uh, he sprained his leg or something uh, on the last hike we took. So he had to stay home. Yeah. Yeah, this could be a mistake. <laughs> All right. Uh, we haven't tried our wine yet. I've been holding on to it. I have not tried it yet. That's funny. They have the, the R's going backwards on this. Mm -hmm. Three Brothers Pinot Noir. I will try to come show this to you guys. Ooh. Hey, quit biting me. Yeah. Three Sit Brothers down. Pinot Noir. Yeah. I hope it's focusing on that. There you go. Oh. So close. So close. <laughs> come here, Larky. I think, come here. Okay. Sit down. No. Here. Here. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Yes. Oh, this may be a huge mistake. I'm going to drink my wine real quick. I know. Yes. Not Pinot. Oh. I do like a Pinot Noir. Good boy. Kim's not as crazy about them, but okay. um, that's pretty good. All right. I'll read you the description. Moldova is serious about producing world-class wines, and this Pinot Noir channels their centuries of experience. This wine features classic varietal notes of red cherry and strawberry that envelop, sorry, that envelop an early, earthy core. Sorry, light's not good here. <laughs> I'm obviously blind that develop an earthy core with soft tannins and fresh acidity on the finish. And I do like this. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You like that? Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, um, I'm going to let uh, a little guest, um, what, are, what should I call him? We have another guest appearance by Russell. I'm going to let him take it away here. What, what number it, is it? Um, eight. All right, let's see what's in it. Let's see what, uh, <laughs> I so wanted to Russell, can you say Northern Lights and hold it up? Northern, Northern Lights. Sure pretty, huh? Yeah, it's like the snowflake coming down to, to, to make some snow on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Can I see it again? Yeah. The yarn? 
Yeah. That's nice, huh? All right, what do you say, Russell? Oh, something else. Oh. Oh. What's that? It's a tea bag, Russell. A tea bag. Yes. Called vanilla bean macaroon. Ooh. That sounds good, huh? Let's, let's put it in Okay, Russell, what do you say now? Ooh, bye. Happy Vlogmas! Happy Vlogmas! Happy Vlogmas! <laughs> well done, Russell. Yeah, very good, Russell. <laughs> I'm really glad I dropped off a couple of uh, Andrea's advents at their house because I really wanted to get Russell in on this a little bit. Oh, Larky. <laughs> He's so helpful, isn't he? All right. Um, oh, I did want to say at the beginning of, of this uh, Vlogmas today, I did show uh, some of our ducks and one of our chickens. And yes, we do have ducks and chickens. And if you guys want to find out more about that, if you go to episode 38, and I'll put this across the bottom of the screen here also. If you go to my episode 38, timestamp 5807. I'll write that across the bottom. Uh, you'll hear the story of why we have, um, I was just about to do a curse word here, why we have so many ducks. <laughs> it's a story. It's a story. I think you'll enjoy. The curse words still apply. Yeah, the curse words still apply. Mm -hmm. Yes, they yeah. certainly do. All right. I, wanna, I don't want to stretch this out too long because it's a long one today. I had a lot to say. So, um, happy Vlogmas. Yep. Happy Vlogmas. And I won't see you tomorrow. Why? She will. Oh, maybe. I mean. yeah. Happy Vlogmas, everybody. Happy Vlogmas. I hope I see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now.